Hey guys, what's up? Crypto here, and um, I just decided to bring y'all another uh, tutorial in Logic. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could do this in any other DAW, but it's mostly, most mostly, <laughs> fun word, mostly going to be about bouncing your audio into, or MIDI into full length audio stems. Like, from the start of your song, which would be zero seconds, to the end of your song, like three minutes, or three minutes and fifty seconds. So, we're going to make your stems look like this. Big long stems. From beginning to end. Alright, I'm not sure if there's already, oops, if there's already videos on this on YouTube or something, but I don't know. But I'm just making my own tutorial, so that way this guy, this will be for you. Alright, so here we have our stem, well, our audio that we want to bounce to make it into a full length stem. Alright, here it is. Just going to play like a little bit of it. That's our audio. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did something right there. Anyways, um, yeah, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is when you have your MIDI or audio that you want to bounce to make it full length, a full length track, um, like from start to beginning of your song, when you have it ready, you know, you're ready to bounce it, you know, this is great for if you want to give someone your stems to remix or even mix, you know. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this get straight to it. First thing you want to do is have your set your output right here to bus to a bus. If you don't know how to use a bus or if you're not very keen on keen of buses, uh, I'm not sure if I'm using the correct word. Um, go ahead, it, you know, just go ahead and select bus one or any bus you want um, that you're not using. So we're going to send this to bus 1. The output of our track that we are going to bounce is going to be your bus. Alright? So, next thing we're going to do is create another audio, cha audio track. Create a stereo track. Create. And th here we have our stereo. So, what you're going to want to do in the stereo is go into your input. Alright? Not output. Input. Of the newly created stereo track and select the input of what your output was well, your bus basically so there now our input is now bus 1 so audio 5 is the output to audio 5 is bus 1 and the input to audio 22 is bus 1 so you know you're basically just sending this to this track okay you're sending audio 5 to audio two, 22 so now what you're going to want to do is record and enable the track. So it's record enabled. Alright. Press uh, all the way back. Go to the beginning of the song. And what I'd like to do is like this is where our song ends. It ends at like 4 minutes 44 seconds. Somewhere around there. Alright. Go ahead and set your end marker or your loop all the way to the end to where it finishes. Okay. Deselect it. Well, uh, disable your loop. Okay. So that way we know that when it, this is where it ends and we can stop the recording. Go all the way back and now you're going to press record. So I'm, I'm probably going to um, cut this video for sake of time, you know. So here we are. And there you have it. 
So after that's all done, it's fully recorded, and it's at the end of your song, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and just get rid of that extra part that we don't need, and make sure it's all lined up. And yep, it's all lined up. So I hope this tutorial, hopefully, um, did some good for you, you know, um, I hope you learned something from this. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, like, subscribe, uh, <laughs> follow me on, well, uh, if you guys don't know, I have a promotion channel for, you know, any, any, uh, electronic artist that's looking to get promoted or anything, you know, uh, it's just started, you know, and yeah, go like my page, my Facebook page, um, uh, it would mean a lot to me, guys, so, um, till next time, see ya.